Hi there, future nurse. Are you ready to level up your skills and confidence? This video is just the beginning. We have even more HESI practice tests and lessons waiting for you at allhealthcarecareers.com forward slash YouTube. And the best part is completely free. So check it out and let's get you closer to passing your exams on the first try. Now let's get started. Question one. What is the normal body temperature in Fahrenheit? A. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 37 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The correct answer is A. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The average normal body temperature is around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to about 37 degrees Celsius in the Celsius scale. This is a standard reference point for human body temperature. Question 2. What is the result of 2.0 times 10 to the power of 6 times 3.0 times 10 to the power of 4? A. 6.0 times 10 to the power of 10. B. 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24. C. 6.0 times 10 to the power of 2. D. 6.0 times 10 to the power of 1. The correct answer is A. 6.0 times 10 to the power of 10. When multiplying numbers in scientific notation, you multiply the coefficients 2.0 and 3.0 and add the exponents 6 plus 4. Thus, the result is 6.0 times 10 to the power of 6 plus 4 equals 6.0 times 10 to the power of 10. Question 3. At what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit equal? A. Negative 40. B. 0. C. 32. D. 100. The correct answer is A. Negative 40. Celsius and Fahrenheit scales intersect at negative 40 degrees, meaning negative 40 degrees Celsius is equal to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This unique point is where the two temperature scales give the same reading. Question 4. What is the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit? A. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 373 degrees Fahrenheit. The correct answer is C. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 212 degrees Fahrenheit on the Fahrenheit scale. The conversion formula is F equals 9 fifths C plus 32, where C is the temperature in Celsius. Question 5. What is the result of dividing 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 by 9.0 times 10 to the power of negative 2? A. 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 1. B. 5.0 times 10 to the power of 1. C. 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of negative 1. D. 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of 1. The correct answer is A. 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 1. When dividing numbers in scientific notation, you divide the coefficients, 4.5 by 9.0, and subtract the exponents, negative 3 minus negative 2. This gives 0 0.5 and negative 1 for the exponent, which simplifies to 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 1. Question 6. How do you convert 100 Kelvin to Celsius? A. Negative 173.15 degrees Celsius. B. Negative 100 degrees Celsius. C. 27.85 degrees Celsius. D. 373.15 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is A. Negative 173.15 degrees Celsius. To convert Kelvin to Celsius, subtract 273.15 from the Kelvin temperature. Thus, 100K minus 273.15 equals negative 173.15 degrees Celsius. This conversion reflects the temperature below the freezing point of water. Question 7. How do you convert 20 degrees Celsius to Kelvin? 
A. 253K. B. 293K. C. 313K. D. 333K. The correct answer is B. 293K. To convert Celsius to Kelvin, you add 273.15 to the Celsius temperature. Therefore, 20 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 equals 293.15 Kelvin. For simplicity in most high school problems, you can round to 293 Kelvin. Question 8. What is the scientific notation of 0.000345? A. 3.45 times 10 to the power of 4. B. 3.45 times 10 to the power of negative 4. C. 3.45 times 10 to the power of 3. D. 3.45 times 10 to the power of negative 3. The correct answer is B. 3.45 times 10 to the power of negative 4. To convert a number to scientific notation, you must move the decimal point to the right of its first non-zero digit. In this case, the decimal point moves four places to the right, making the exponent negative 4 since the number is less than 1. Question 9. Which particle is found in the nucleus of an atom along with protons? A. Electrons. B. Neutrons. C. Positrons. D. Neutrinos. The correct answer is B. Neutrons. Neutrons, along with protons, are found in the nucleus of an atom. Neutrons have no electric charge, making them neutral particles. Question 10. What is the freezing point of water in Kelvin? A. 0. K. B. 273.15 K. C. 273.15 degrees Celsius. D. 32. K. The correct answer is B, 273.15 K. The freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin in the Kelvin scale. The Kelvin scale does not have negative numbers, and its zero point is absolute zero, not the freezing point of water. Question 11. What is the scientific notation for 800,000? A, eight times 10 to the power of five, B, 8 times 10 to the power of 6. C, 8.0 times 10 to the power of 5. D, 8.0 times 10 to the power of 6. The correct answer is A, 8 times 10 to the power of 5. The decimal point in 800,000 is moved 5 places to the left to get the number 8, making the exponent 5. Thus, the correct scientific notation is 8 times 10 to the power of 5. Question 12. What is the metric unit for temperature? A. Kelvin. K. B. Fahrenheit. Degree F. C. Celsius. Degree C. D. Gram. G. The correct answer is C. Celsius. Degree C. The Celsius scale, degree C, is the metric unit for measuring temperature. Kelvin K is the SI base unit of temperature and Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, is used primarily in the United States. Question 13. If a laboratory sample contains 2.5 times 10 to the power of 8 bacteria and the population doubles every hour, how many bacteria will there be in 3 hours? A. 2.0 times 10 to the power of 9. B. 1.0 times 10 to the power of 09C. 2.0 times 10 to the power of 8d, 2.0 times 10 to the power of 10. The correct answer is a, 2.0 times 10 to the power of 9. If the population doubles every hour, after three hours, it will have doubled three times, starting with 2.5 times 10 to the power of 8. After one hour, 2.5 times 10 to the power of 8 times 2 equals 5.0 times 10 to the power of 8. After 2 hours, 5.0 times 10 to the power of 8 times. 2 equals 1.0 times 10 to the power of 9. After 3 hours, 1.0 times 10 to the power of 9 times 2 equals 2.0 times 10 to the power of 9. Thus, 
there will be 2.0 times 10 to the power of 9 bacteria after 3 hours. Question 14. If a sample has a mass of 250 grams, how many kilograms does it weigh? A. 0 0.25 kilograms. B. 2.5 kilograms. C. 25 kilograms. D. 2,500 kilograms. The correct answer is A. 0 0.25 kilograms. Since 1 kilogram, kg, is equal to 1,000 grams, g, to convert grams to kilograms, you divide by 1,000. Therefore, 250 grams is equal to 0 0.25 kilograms. Question 15. If a substance has a melting point of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, what is this temperature in Celsius? A. 10 degrees Celsius. B. Negative 10 degrees Celsius. C. 122 degrees Celsius. D. Negative 122 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is A. 10 degrees Celsius. To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, use the formula C equals 5 ninths times F minus 32. For 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it calculates to C equals 5 ninths times 50 minus 32 equals 5 ninths times 18 equals 10 degrees Celsius. Question 16. How is the number 5.67 times 10 to the power of 3 written in standard form? A. 5670. B. 567. C. 56.7. D. 5670.0. The correct answer is A. 5670. 5.67 times 10 to the power of 3 means that the decimal point in 5.67 is moved to the right three places, resulting in 5670. Question 17. Which of the following is the largest unit of length? A. Millimeter. MM. B. Centimeter. CM. C. Meter. M. D. Kilometer. KM. The correct answer is D. Kilometer. KM. The kilometer, KM, is the largest unit of length among the options given. It is 1,000 times larger than a meter, while a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter and a millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. Question 18. Which unit is used to measure mass in the metric system? A. Gram, G. B. Liter, L. C. Meter, M. D. Celsius, degree C. The correct answer is A. Gram, G. In the metric system, the gram, G, is the basic unit of mass. Liters measure volume, meters measure length, and Celsius is a unit of temperature. Question 19. How many milliliters are in one liter? A. 10. B. 100. C. 1,000. D. 10,000. The correct answer is C. 1,000. The prefix milli means one thousandth. Therefore, there are 1,000 milliliters, ml, in one liter, l, as it is 1,000 times smaller than a liter. Question 20. What is the charge of a proton? A. Plus 1. B. Minus 1. C. 0. D. Plus 2. The correct answer is A. Plus 1. Protons carry a positive charge, which is denoted as plus 1. This charge is balanced by electrons, which have a minus 1 charge in a neutral atom. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope it was helpful. Click right here for more HESI practice test videos, or take your free HESI practice test right here.